And our luxury correspondent Laura Dunn is back and showing us the luxe life in Palm Beach, Florida. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Dunn and I'd like to welcome you to the luxury edition of the Jet Set. This luxury edition trip brings us to Palm Beach's most colorful jewel, the Colony Hotel. The easy choice would have been to hop on over to the Breakers, which is well known as Palm Beach's number one luxury resort. But on this trip, we wanted something smaller, warmer, and seriously more intimate. With its Lily Pulitzer inspired decor, the colony has been a beloved Palm Beach landmark since 1947. After check-in, I was ushered to my two bedroom villa with a kitchen, two full baths, and a cozy master bedroom that allowed one of the best night's sleeps I had had in a long time. After checking into my villa, I head down to the CPB restaurant to meet with an old friend for the famous Colony Sunday brunch. With live music and a packed outdoor patio overlooking the pool, CPB did not let us down. The food was absolutely divine and I had one of the best brunches of my life. The Royal Ponciana Plaza is an iconic destination that serves as a jewel box oasis in the heart of beautiful Palm Beach. With 180,000 square feet of retail space and lush, sprawling gardens, it offers a unique international shopping and entertainment destination. Polo, the sport of kings and Queens. Wellington, just 20 minutes outside Palm Beach, is the home to the International Polo Club Palm Beach, where the world's premier polo players and polo enthusiasts head to South Florida from January to April for top-level competition. We were lucky enough to be invited to the Grand Champions Polo Club for the sixth annual Great Future Celebrity Match. We had a magnificent time at the polo matches and were able to cheer on our favorite polo player, Sarah Magnus. Welcome to Worth Avenue, an enchanting resort destination in Palm Beach with European sophistication, style, and grace. Worth Avenue is one of the most beautiful shopping venues in the country. Stretching four blocks, Worth Avenue also includes smaller, architecturally significant streets or vias off the main avenue that include incredible restaurants and smaller luxury boutique shops. This area became known in the 1920s as one of the premier places to shop in the United States. The colony set up a few day excursions for us while we were in Palm Beach, starting with an adorable pink trolley ride to the white sand beaches of the Atlantic, just one block away. And upon arrival, our bellmen set up chairs, towels, and umbrellas, along with a beautiful picnic lunch. It was such a lovely escape and literally just down the street from the hotel. Our next relaxing afternoon was spent upon the Heron, a beautifully appointed turquoise blue catamaran that took us on a cruise up the intercoastal while we were spoiled with champagne. We sunbathed while seeing the beautiful coast up Palm Beach. The Heron has a centralized cockpit design which allows for a spacious deck space that generates a unique layout where we enjoyed the ultimate day charter. Dinner brings us back to CPB for an incredible indoor dining experience. We were absolutely starving, so we ordered half the menu, including main courses from their famous vegan menu. Palm Beach has passed the century mark with a glittering history of fame, fortune, and glamour. This has been an amazing couple of days here and I'm actually now madly in love with this beach paradise and all its glory and luxury. I plan on coming back in the very near future, but until then, I thank you for joining me on the Luxury Edition. It's Laura Dunn signing off from the intercoastal of Palm Beach, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Laura. Well, we have to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more of the Jet Set in a minute. And actually, Nikki, I need some more champagne. I got you, baby. Yes, yes. you're, you're slacking off. You were watching Laura, and I you was, forgot to I refill the glass. I was watching the Lux Live.